Michael with you. Uh, huh? What do you think you're doing? Huh? What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? Are you vlogging? Selling some cuties. <laughs> yeah, I'm too tired. Yeah, I woke up, I went to the back and I Hey, 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 chill out, chill out. <laughs> what up, coach? What's up, man? What? What's up? Oh, I thought you said shut up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. What have I ever told you to shut up? This place is kind of nice. Imagine. Imagine what would happen in time and stuff. I like how he also said if Northwood shows up, like, hard if. <laughs> Quote Corwin. Oh no, I squishy cow. Oh no, I squishy cow. <laughs> chess on my phone as well. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good day. I'm doing puzzles. See, watch this. Easy, right? Easy. I got it wrong. Never mind. <laughs> it's not good right now. But yeah. Well, speaking of matchups, let's talk about this first matchup that we have on the day. It's Siena going up against, I believe, Kent State. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so let's let's talk about these teams a little bit. Powder, what do you make of this first matchup? This one, this is going to be an interesting one. Kent State and Siena Heights, neither team was able to make it into CRL, and actually both of them lost in the qualifiers in the final match to get in, so both of them just that close to getting into CRL. They're here to prove what they can do. Siena Heights, a newer roster forming only this semester. Kent State, I believe, has been together quite a while. So you got new versus old, neither team able to make it into CRL, and a lot to prove today. And then you also had mentioned a little bit about uh, who ended their run both times. It was Northwood. Yeah. Northwood <laughs> in qualifier one both times. Times, winners finals and grand finals 3 0 them so, so a lot of revenge out here for Senna. Well, more revenge or they're yeah. gonna get beat down again. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. up the wall a little bit. Decay on the push. Not enough boost. Rain wins. He wins against Faded as well. One on one. XI losing to Kent State. Faded off the back wall. Here he is now a bit too far up. Good back pass. Shot left side. Ooh. XI for the save. Gary for the follow. <laughs> XI for the diving stop and Faded for the clear. Oh, Gary. But all it'll take is one counterattack from Sienna Heights. Here comes that counterattack. Nobody home. Oh, can anybody? No, it's just in. The XI. And nobody home. Oh. Hey, this time, able to hit a nice shot. And stay off to the races in game two. Oh, so is Sienna Heights. The pass down over to Fade, and he knocks it home and immediately ties the game. And in the final seconds, that will seal it. Santa Heights will go on to match points. Kent State really needing to turn things around. They're going to need a reverse sweep if they want to advance on to the winner's side. Yeah, and it will be Kent State setting it to a game four. Santa Heights not playing bad by any hey, means, just a little cool. over aggressive. They'll get one <laughs> for the road, and Santa Heights, that'll help their confidence heading into game four, but nothing to feel bad about. They've still played great in this game, just that slight over aggressive play late. Heights is still feeling quite comfortable. Kent State. They've been close. They've been close. They were close in game one, close in game two. Putting a lot of pressure on the defense and another demo. And Heights a chance to respond. Double tap pass and a side flip from Rain. This game win for Kent State. They lose another one in game two, another close game due to lack of execution. Game three, a battle, but they pull it off. Game four, perfect execution from Kent State. Everything going right for Kent State at the best time possible. Now, one game away. They'll look to follow. Over Gary the Snail, Rain, waiting. Plenty of time to work with. Decay, taken off the field, but not before he keeps it in. Off the back wall, a miss from Sky, shot on and in, and first blood in for Santa High. Gary the Snail, off the side, right into the hands of XI. Long clear down, but Faded is waiting. Off the back wall, XI racing in, takes the successful challenge, and gets the lead for Santa Heights. A tough break for Kent State. Got a 
fight back though. Still plenty of time. Here in the snail, not anymore though. They need two is XI. As you said, James, about this entire series, the offensive leader gets another. Still with control, just not enough boost, and that clear will seal it. Sienna Heights gets it done. They fend off the reverse sweep, and they will move on in the bracket. Their reverse game five clock. Let's go, boys! Yeah, a lot of tough things here for Penn State, but they, they played extremely well. <laughs> so land nerves at all? No. No nerves? No, 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 never nerves. I'm absolutely Never nerves. Yeah. Nerves, Ethan? No? I ain't got nerves. No nerves? Nerves? A little bit of nerves. <laughs> no, no, you don't got nerves. You don't a little need... bit of nerves. You're fine, you're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just, just a little bit, guys. Hey, James. So, how do you think Sienna's doing so far? Sienna, I mean, pulled out the win. That was, that was win. a pretty crazy series. Uh, Sienna Heights, you guys fended off the reverse sweep. I think it was it was a little bit of a shaky start. Kent State, they had a lot of pressure on you guys, but uh, the defense was holding strong. Honestly, the one play that I, I, I'll remember was that faded save top quarter. Oh yeah, that was nuts. That was crazy. That was pretty good. Yeah, so that was that was really good. Cool. I mean, honestly, when it comes to land, whether you have these close close series or not, it's important to just be able to have the nerves to get the win. Yeah. And you guys did that, so yeah. uh, really impressive. Yeah. Hey, you have the same nice shoes. Nice shoes, yeah, I was about to say, nice shoes. <laughs> so I, I got these shoes because I don't like tying my shoes. Yeah, and they're comfy. And so when I try to they're super comfy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I looked down, I was like, wait a minute. That's <laughs> well, let's talk about this matchup. Columbia, Siena Heights. We saw Siena Heights, you know, they struggled a little bit against Kent State, but were able to pull out the win. However, Columbia College is a, is a different caliber of opponent. Yeah, I mean, Columbia College, they're the best in the West, as we, we know them as, and it's by a clear margin. All around panic. So, three goals. Uh, maybe doable. Oh, 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 my. Okay. oh my! All right, all right. All right. Oh. Will be a last chance attack for Sienna Heights. Clock oh. will wind down. But that was a dangerous fall. Columbia College get away with that. See that Cam switches car? What? I think from... Hey, okay, Sienna! <laughs> Up in front of net. Final 10 seconds. Cosmic Flippy off the sidewall on zero boost. Cam, Order. can he do it? Gets bumped out of the play. Cosmic Flippy... Keeps it alive, no there. one from Columbia. And I can hear the audience reacting to Sienna Heights. Definitely have the crowd here for the Sienna side. Regardless, it's showing creativity in their offensive play. XI in the net, knocking Crows out and faded. Going to come in to tie up this game at a minute 40. Challenge comes in, but look at the size of that flick. An awkward oh. ball. Oh no. The rebound will get saved by Faded. And now a demo. And we've got overtime. Before Columbia can get a long boom downfield. Oh, and a oh, no. Yeah, we'll end it off the missed backboard read from Sienna Heights. That game really seemed like it was the swing game. If, if there was hope, or if you feel like if there was hope for Sienna, they've got to get that win. But maybe they can come back and force a game five. They need to get this win here. All right, we're still scoreless, but the demo's coming in from Crows. It's definitely going to change things up. Maybe slow down the transition, but it doesn't matter. XI just comes in like a bullet. Man, you're, you're going from car to car to car. Just, just relax on one for a little bit. Oh, and that is a wow. beautiful shot. Boom it. Decay. Dropping it down, Crows, 50 by XI. Cosmic Flippy, the pass down, Cam Cross. with the miss. Crows to Cam, Cam off the backboard. Crows won't take the shot. And the long shot from Faded will find its mark. Sienna Heights, a huge victory. We're going to game five. <laughs> on a marathon, two best of fives <laughs> in a row. We'll see if we'll be able to complete it here or if Columbia College will be able to take it in the end.
despite that. Sienna, they're gonna hurt in transition, nearly finding a target. Like you mentioned, Fade, it's so controlled, so smart in the offense. Getting a shot on, hits off the post. Cosmic knocking it away just in time. It's hard to believe, but this game already halfway through. Look at that. Columbia still maintain a lead and a strong clear. Faded, nice shot. It'll go off the crossbar. Oh, XI is there. Sienna Heights giving Columbia a scare. Decay pops it up. Pass Cam. Faded off the corner. Cosmic Flippy will lob it downfield. Cam off the ceiling. It's going to be wide and faded. It's it to the sidewall. Final seconds taken away. We're gonna have to go the full distance. XI getting to the ball, keeps it airborne. Decay, backward chance. Now to the corner and it's gonna hit Columbia College. Hold on, winning in game five. They're the best of the West for a region, but you know, to anyone who is out there, just give a round of applause for Sienna Heights. That, that was, is uh, that the was closest we will probably see Columbia go. Kind of scuffed in it. Yeah, a little bit. It's cool. Yes. Well, how are we feeling? I'm feeling like I'm itching for Rocket League. True. You gotta re hit GC, you know? Yeah. Savannah. How are we feeling? Dr. Vladdy, how are we doing? Or, I don't wanna leave. How are we feeling? Good, man. I always feel good. You know, play, play Columbia pretty good. I mean, play, yeah. You know, like, should have honestly won. Should have honestly won. But had a shot, man. I um, mean, losers, like, we did not do what we were supposed to do at all. No. But, you know, that's okay. Like, this is the one roster right now. Like, we don't do well with moral victories. Mm -hmm. It's like we don't win, we lose type yeah. of thing. So, yeah, it's more so just like 24 hour rule, man. Be upset about what happened and kind of keep moving forward. So, it's kind of just building blocks for next semester, kind of get ready to roll and, you know, take care of business in Michigan, man. Oh, yeah. Kyle. How are we feeling? I wanna. All right, let me start. Kyle, how you feeling? I wanna. All right, take four. All right, Kyle, how you feeling? Terrible. All right. Um. Well, you're, you're learning. You're learning. Uh, you played really well in the Columbia series. Yeah. That's like one of the best series I've ever seen you play. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it'd be alright though. Just to get to here though, was is pretty crazy. I mean, the amount of improvement we we, we have from last semester, pretty crazy stuff. I still suck at this game. Yeah, we all kind of do. Corwin, uh, how do you feel about your performance today? I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. How much sleep did you get? Um. Four hours. <laughs> All right, take it easy, Corey. Don't fall asleep. I mean, you can't fall asleep, I guess. <laughs> Just, <laughs> you look like you're dying. <laughs> Close. Close? Yeah, don't, don't die, don't die. I'll try not to. Ethan, how are we feeling? Disappointed. Disappointed? Yeah. What else? Um, I don't know. I'm chilling. It just sucks losing, you know? Yeah. It is what it is. We regain. Yeah. Go next. You feel pumped or you, know, you feel like tired? Um, I feel good. I'm just happy to be here. It's, it's a good environment. I get to see some buddies that I play with all the time. Alright, well, this might be the end of the vlog. Peace out, vlog. Kyle, say goodbye to the vlog.